this video, we're going to perform a sum ifs function in Microsoft Excel when we want to summarize a full date column by just the month and year. So you can see here in this data set, I have a detail listing of orders. One column is the date column, then I have an order number and order amount. Over here to the left, we have month end dates and what we'd like to do is perform a sum ifs function that summarizes this data by month and year so we're going to begin the sum ifs function first input is our sum range which is the amount column column j I'm going to hit f4 to lock that down our next input is our first criteria range that is going to be our date column in column h Our criteria one is going to be the front end of our month range. So we want to summarize everything from January 1st to January 31st. So we essentially have uh, a range criteria here. So what we need to begin with in double quotes is a greater than or equal to now that has to be in double quotes, so keep that in mind, and then we need to use an AND symbol to join that to our criteria. Well, our criteria here is in B3, but we want our criteria to be January 1st. It's currently January 31st. So we want to insert the date function. The date function has three inputs, a year input, a month input, and a day input. For the year input, we're gonna insert the year function, and the year function is very simple. It has one input, which is a date, and it returns the year of the date input, which is gonna be our January 31st value in B3 that will return 2021. I'm going to do a similar thing for our next input of the date function. We just want to insert the month function and that will return the month of B3 which is 1 for January. And finally we have a day input to our date function which we don't have a one value for the day so we're going to manually insert a value of one there to begin at January 1st. So now we have our second criteria range which again is going to be our date column because this is going to be the back end of our date range criteria. So again I'm going to insert double quotes and this time it's going to be less than or equal to and don't forget the and symbol you must have that to join it to your criteria so we could simply reference B3 and that would be fine because it is the month end date but let's just imagine that maybe this is not a month end date it's the middle of the month possibly what we could use is the end of month function. It has two inputs, a start date and how many months you want to increment. Well, this will return the month end of the current date so long as the second input is zero because that will keep it in the current month. It doesn't increment it. So if your date happens to not be the month end, you can use this. Just make sure your second argument is zero. And that function will return the month, the last day of the month. So we have everything we need now. So I'm going to hit enter. And you can see this returns $129,000. So if I was to filter on January and then total up this amount column we get the same result so we know it works so I'm gonna clear this out drag our formula down and I'll total these up here and just make sure that our totals match the total of our amount column and it does 
So that is how you can perform a sum ifs in Microsoft Excel when you want to summarize uh, a data set containing date fields by just the month and year. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.